Um, my name is Matthew Hart. I am from Orchard Park, New York originally, and I am a professional basketball player. So this was last season in the TBL, a newer league. I think it was uh, last year was the third year of the league. Um, very high competition basketball, very high level. And this is the second season I played in the TBL. This was my, one of my favorite clips of the season because it kind of because it kind of shows who I am um, as a player and as a point guard. I'm always looking for my teammates. Um, obviously, I'm looking to score first. Um, that's the player I am, but I'm always looking for shooters. And Bernard, who I passed to on that play, is one of the best shooters I've ever played with. So during the whole season, I was always looking for him. This is home. Yeah. Great take. This one, I I wanted to dunk it um, right when I got past the big man and a little hesitation there. I was like, all right, I'm dunking this. And he kind of hit me on top of my head. Um, so I didn't rise up as much as I wanted to, but um, still a good play and one. That's a pretty good group of people you got going there every game. Yeah, and the camera, um, if it was on the other on the other end, on the other sideline, you'd see the whole other side um, mm -hmm. uh, stands is packed as well. I mean, we had... We had to have had over a thousand people, you know, oh pretty goodness. much every game. It was really cool, a really good fan base. This is this is one of my favorite moves. So when I come off the ball screen, I kind of give a little. I call it a glide step, glide skip step, because I'm kind of just gliding, hesitating, skipping. So the big man comes out, you know, he doesn't really know what I'm doing, and then I can just blow by him. So if yeah, you wanted to hit him on a on a pick and roll here, when would you would you feed him now, or would you? Now we know you take it, or would you try yeah. to take it around this big guy and then dump it off? Uh, for Dan. Um, Specifically, I would wait um, because Dan is very good when you give it to him where he doesn't have to, you know, dribble again. He doesn't have to make a secondary move because Dan is awesome when you feed it to him and he can just go straight up. He's going to finish every time. So I want to put him in the best position possible. And that's, you know, where he can just catch and finish. I'm quite stopping here, though. I'm wondering how this guy doesn't stop you. So now I forget what happens. So let's see. I can't imagine he. Yeah, he didn't do much. <laughs> He didn't do anything. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't know if they're going to give us a better angle, so let's stop here just to start. This is full. This is... Yep. Yeah, but this game, too, the other side completely packed. Yeah. Who is this? Is this Lewis? This was against Albany. This was a big game. Oh, yeah. Um, I like this move because I finished with my left hand oh, kind of over the top of the shot blocker. This is Dallas again? Yeah. Looks like? Yep, yeah, Dallas. So Dan get, did a good job of uh, slipping the screen there. Um... And I was able to split the big man and get a, um, I think I got a wide open shot kind of near the top of the key here. Yeah, I mean, it's a great pick, but you, the way you squeeze right through is yeah. impressive. <laughs> I know, I almost got tripped up. Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah, yep. wide open jumper. And, all right, let's see the finish here. Yeah, just a light. So this is my shot. One, two dribble pull up, stop on a dime. So you're going to stop and eight's going to keep running? Yeah, so he'll just, Oh, yep. yeah. That's my shot. At what point in that play do you know eight's going to keep running? So I got him on my hip. So I know he's trying to catch up because he doesn't want to just let me go. I can feel him trying to get back in front. When you're a defender and your main goal is to try and get back in front, you're not focused on me pulling up. Mm. So I know I know he's not ready for me to pull up. This is Dayton, right? Yeah. So... Ooh, so got if you me. go back, yep, yeah, because he's not committed to stopping the paint and he's not committed to stopping Drew. I saw him creeping towards the paint, um, so that's why I hit Drew instead of uh, Tyrone rolling to the basket. It's a good read. So it really could have went either way. Yeah, this is one of my favorite plays as well because it shows a little ball handling, um, shows court vision, and just shows my willingness to get teammates involved. And I love this play because um, one of my favorite actions is when you drive baseline and then someone fills the opposite corner and then you hit him for a three. That's one of my favorite actions in basketball. Good look, good movement. That's just team basketball. Yeah, so same thing there, just too much space. Once again, too much space. I thought I got fouled, but apparently not. Look at that one again. <laughs> yeah, a little steal. And then Akoi did a good job of running the floor, and he got him a nice wide open dunk. Nice. Yeah. This is Owensboro. Um, Tez does a great job of relocating. Yeah, because he's down. Where was he? He was down in the corner. Yeah. There you go. He sees. He yeah, sees and your his, turn. yeah, and his man was uh, caught ball watching there, but he wasn't. He man? wasn't looking where Tez was going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude. Everybody's eyes go down looking at the guy yeah. running, and you pause and say, wait a minute, there's somebody right here. What have we got? 
Columbus, uh, yeah. I think. Yeah, one dribble pull up, too much space. This was in Tampa. Okay. The other Tampa team. This was the Tampa Titans. This was this was a wild game. We were up. So the score right now is 108-99. Yeah. We were up by like, at the end of the third quarter, I think we were up by 30 or something. I can't remember um, specifically, but it got down to like a five-point game in the fourth quarter. Because they played a really weird defense where they kind of pressed and tracked the whole game. This was a fun game because or once we got past their press and their like trapping, we got so many wide open shots that game. All of the shots that I made, I'm pretty sure I was wide open. 